It's a team in a building that's always loud and fast and physical. So what were the, particularly after the five minutes, what were the biggest challenges in getting them to well, come together? I, I don't think we had our game. I don't think uh, we had our... For a team like ours right now, being so young and, and lack of experience, I don't, I don't think even a, a B plus game will be good enough. If we have four or five passengers, like we need an A plus plus, and then we might not win even with that. So uh, tonight was obviously not good enough, not a good start. Um, I think the guy rattled back pretty good after in the first. After I called the timeout, I think we, we did okay. Just didn't have a really good game overall. We had guys that had bad games, and uh, I have to be careful because there's guys that are giving us what they can and what they have and we have to be fair to them so um, it was overall not a good game uh, we're gonna reset go back at it tomorrow that being said the rubber band has been stretched for a while and those guys have been giving us some good effort now and in a season like this we have to take a step back and go to sleep and, and go back at it tomorrow right spot on the night those brothers getting his first program. yeah you know what he's been he's been hanging in there he's been fighting uh, on the ice He's a young junior kid still, and we have a, a, a lot of guys with a lack of experience. So, uh, yes, you know what? I was happy for him. It's, it's, it's a lot of mileage he's getting right now that he probably can get anywhere uh, in the world, in the hockey world, and he deserved it. He's been, he's been good for us. Um, so, uh, you like to see young guys pulling their, their weight that time, but he's been overwhelmed too, so it's good experience for him. I feel like uh, has been a bit of a workhorse lately. Are you happy with how he's been? Uh, it's been? It's been an adaptation for him like everybody else. You know, we have so many young guys, they, they, we, we can't be negative on the effort they're, they're giving us. We just got to be realist that sometimes it's not good enough, and in this case, he's been progressing nicely. It's been a long season, he's told us he's played more hockey than he's played uh, all his life. Uh, so there's been a bit of a roller coaster, but the high, which has been good. So when a player is doing it, now consistency needs to be uh, part of his game. But you're right, he's definitely tonight he's, he's showed character and he's showed caring. Uh, for tomorrow, last game of the season, is there a message that you'll send your, your guys before you go? Know yeah, we'll, we'll talk in the morning. Um, like tonight, is, it's got a sour taste to us because it's not the effort we wanted to give. And, and, and not just the effort that the guys didn't work, they didn't work as well as we have been lately. So tomorrow for me is to make sure we have our A game, everybody, to finish strong. And um, they deserve it, they're good guys. They've been listening to us all year long. We've lost some games that we should have won, but you know, lack of experience and, and, and potential sometimes hurt us, and that's the reality. We know it. it's pro hockey. You can sugarcoat it, so let's reset and let's see if we have a better effort tomorrow. Thank you. You guys always know that when you play Syracuse, particularly in their building, it's going to be loud, it's going to be physical, it's going to be fast. Um, what are you thinking when you're going to the locker room? I think, uh, well, first of all, like our first five minutes. Uh, I don't think we're uh, ready to play and ready to compete like as much as they were. And uh, when you when you face the first team in the division or in the conference, I'm not sure with Charlotte, but you can have you cannot have these starts. And uh, I think like when you trail back to nothing after like four or three or four minutes, it's really hard to come back uh, against uh, one of the best teams in the league. But the rest of that first period, it seemed like you guys really kind of got on your skates and, and were putting the pressure on. Was it just hard to find open lanes, create space, and, and get into the zone? Oh, I mean, uh, yeah, we, we, we competed uh, quite good after uh, we took a timeout, but um, like they're they're really they're, they were a really good team out there, and like sometimes like it's gonna be tighter and less space than other games. So we sh like we when these situations happen, you just have to keep it simple and just like play play the right way and stuff like that. I know it sounds cliche, but that's the right recipe and that's the good way to do it. They were doing it, so you know, so we tried maybe to to do too much a bit and. With the with the young roster that we have, like it's it's deadly. So I think that's what happened. Particularly as one of the leaders on this team, what's it? What are the challenges? In, are there challenges in keeping up morale in the room coming down the stretch here, the last couple of games of the season, or are guys reacting well and, and getting up for every game? Well, I think like for for older guy like me, like I like right now we have a really young roster, and I think it's like for a lot of guys a good showcase in the sense that. Like we have, these young guys have opportunity right now that maybe they will never have again in their life. So might as well like we we all fighting, we all like playing for like like for yourself, yes, but like the team as well. But I think I just try like to, to stay positive, even like if it's really hard. Like right now, like we, we we're not winning much game lately, but just like 
like be a pro, like know that it's not junior anymore and just try to be positive and play the right way and show a good example. You might not be reflecting on the whole season yet, but as a whole, it's your first season with Laval. What are the big the big things that you're going to take away from your personal game and just being with this team this season? Uh, from a personal view, I think... Uh, uh, coming here with Laval, uh, like I learn a lot still. Uh, like it's it's good for myself that it proved to myself that I, I'm not like I'm getting into my peaks, my best year. So I'm I'm still learning. I'm I'm not like done uh, like evolving. So uh, I think that's the right way, and I'm still learning. Uh, I'm, I'm listening. I have my both ears right open with the coaching stuff that we have right now. Where they're really details, and that I can bring that to my game. I'm just gonna it's gonna make me a better hockey player. What's it? Uh, what does it mean to you being selected? I think like that's that's always nice to have uh, individual individual honors. Uh, um, we had, with the the Laval Rocket, they were good. Like they really had the, uh, a lot of things outside the rink, uh, e- even if it's like practice with the with the kids or um, they, they had a, a reading a new thing that they they had. I don't remember the name in French, but um, so it's just was just great to to give back to the community. And I remember when I was younger, when the the older hockey guys that I was looking up, like they came and like talked to us. I was really like. I really always appreciate it, so I try to just give back the same way. Coming here, it's going to be a tough game in a loud yeah. building. Um, what did you feel needed work tonight? They're a good team. I mean, uh, I don't think we were prepared uh, for their speed, for their skill, and I think it showed tonight. Um, yeah, I mean, we had a pretty uh, tough start, and the bounce weren't really going our ways, and, and they're a good team, and we can't have games like that. Going into the last game, Absolutely. I mean, guys in here are uh, either working for a contract next year, fighting for a spot, maybe a better spot on this team next year if they're assigned already. So, I mean, I think everybody's got something to play for. So, uh, I don't think anybody will be taking the game off. Your attitude all season long has been nothing but positive. Your work ethic is always there. You always tell us you just got to keep doing what you do best and play the simple game. Are you happy with how? with the work that you put in and how your game for the rest of the season? This year? Yeah, I think, I mean, uh, I think for the most part, I thought I played well. I mean, I kept a positive attitude the whole way, and yeah, I think for the most part, uh, I did pretty good, but uh, a lot of ups and downs, and but that's going to happen in, uh, in hockey, so. It's uh, your first uh, introduction to the Syracuse Crunch. Uh, what yeah. was, what was, how did that game feel for you? Um, yeah, you know, it was fast. Um, Nothing I didn't expect, though. You know, uh, we watched the pre-scout. We knew they were a fast team, so um, obviously it's a loud building. Um, it, was, it was tough to play in, for sure. Catch first for a goal tonight. Uh, walk me through the goal and, and how it feels getting that off the net. Yeah, you know, um, you know, I was just kind of focusing on getting pucks to the net. So um, when I went to the corner, I kind of looked up and I saw uh, Marty at the net. He was kind of alone, so I threw it there, and I was lucky enough to squeak through. How's it feel to have your first goal? Feels good. Um, it's something that I'll never forget. So um, obviously we wanted to get the win, but um, that was that was pretty cool. You've only been with the team for a short time now, but in this in this short time span, what's what's the biggest thing that you're taking from being with this group so far? Um, I think it's just the the preparation, and you know every day is a chance to get better. Um, it's pro hockey. It's not, it's not junior anymore, and there's a lot of differences. So I'm just trying to you know be a sponge, soak up uh, all the information that I can, and uh, enjoy it. Um, the speed and the execution, you know, guys come to work every day, there's no days off, there's no shifts off, so, um, you know, I, I can learn from a lot of guys in this room and, and on other teams too, so I'm, I'm enjoying it. And uh, good chemistry so far with the guys in the room? Yeah, yeah, the guys are great, they've been really good to me and uh, they made it, they've made it fun. And uh, coaches, you feel like you're fitting in well with coaches? Yeah, you know, I'm just trying to do what they ask and ask as many questions, you know, I want to learn, I'm here to learn, so um, I, th- I think it's gone pretty well.